Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christina. I'm glad you're here. Let's get right into the video. The title is not clickbait. I had my first hand contact when I uploaded my fourth video on my channel. It was a Monet opportunity calling. The lady in question wasn't too happy about this. And I will walk you through what she said, what she didn't like. And I would also like to point you towards the video where I reacted to the opportunity call that she had on her Instagram. And then I thought it would be nice to take a look at some other content of hers. Maybe she is not spreading a lot of misinformation there. Maybe she is spreading positive positivity there and I just misunderstood. If you like these types of videos, please subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment. Let's get started with the opportunity calling again. <laughs> I reacted to a Monet rep on her Instagram who uploaded an opportunity call to her social media together with her quote unquote partner in crime, her upline. She couldn't even say that that is the person that recruited me. It's my upline. I don't even want to walk you through all of the steps or explain to you what happened in that video. Let's just take a look together. I gathered some of the highlights of said video. I will also link it up here and I will link it in the description box below if you want to get the full overview of what happened when Monet Opportunity was calling. What do we do? Influencer marketing, right? We share about things that we love. We have all the resources, you know, how to get, how to help launch your online business, how to help you get branded, how to market yourself, how to sell yourself. You get to work with so many uplifting people. All I did was just buy a bundle of products, try them out myself, started using them, shared it, and that was it. A company car. I used to remember thinking like when people told me that they had a company car, I'm like, wow, your company is really cool. You know, corporate or, you know, an individual owned, doesn't matter. I thought it was so cool that their company was paying for a car. Ours does. You either get a Cadillac, you get a Jaguar, or you get a Range Rover. I wanted to share the light, to share opportunities. I've always been someone that wanted to help as many people as I could. And I found somewhere that I really had a voice and that I was able to help so many people in masses really change their lives and build their confidence. I think that should be enough for you to get an idea of what this opportunity calling was like. A lot of misinformation was spread, a lot of lies, lying by omission. And I sure made fun of that as well here or there, which is fine, I guess, if you are on YouTube or if you're on social media in general, you have to expect that. And if you throw stuff like this, where you try to present people a business opportunity and you do stuff like this, you have to expect that people like me will react to that and will also throw shade here or there. But let's take a look first what the lady commented on the video. Hi, my name is Kristen. It was my profile you took this video from without consent. I appreciate your compliments. However, it is unfortunate you are spreading false information and negativity. I hope that in the future, before you choose to spread assumptions and speak on company business models that you do not understand, you do further research on what you are speaking on. Spreading misinformation is harmful and not only doing a disservice to yourself, but you are also doing a disservice to anyone who might stumble upon this. If you have questions and would like to discuss further, I would be happy to give you facts on the incredibly impactful company we are partnered with. I won't be responding here further. You know where to find me. And genuinely, I wish you the best. And this was my answer. Hi, Kristen. I appreciate you connecting on this video. We clearly have a different view on negativity. Me commenting on unethical businesses and on MLM reps spreading false information about those business models where the vast majority lose money so that reps at the top can profit is educational for me, not negative. Please feel free to point out the alleged false information I communicated in this video. The sources, in this case directly from Monet, are always linked in the description box. And just to clarify, since you posted the Monet opportunity publicly, on your public social media, I'm legally allowed to use the content for my commentary. If you have questions or are unsure about something else, please feel free to reach out, wishing you the best as well. I was just as nice as she was. She didn't word the comment in any weird way, but she was yet again spreading a lot of misinformation. Let's go through this quickly so that we can move on to the other part of the video though. It was my profile you took this video from without consent. If you are on social media and if you post stuff publicly to your social media, 
People do not need your consent. Under the law in different countries and under YouTube guidelines, you're allowed to use that content for commentary, for comedy, and also to give your opinion. If you don't want that, you cannot have a public profile. It is as simple as that. In this case, she's a Monate rep. She presents herself as a public figure, which means I'm allowed to use her content. She is not a private person. She is not a private citizen. I appreciate your compliments. In the video, I said something like thought that she was an attractive woman, and that she had a visually interesting and attractive social media profile, which is probably also why she was able to gain a lot of followers and recruit a lot of people into her downline. Then she said about, it is unfortunate that I spread false information and negativity. I've linked all of the sources down below. And as far as I can tell, the video was not faults in any way, shape or form. And she didn't answer, of course, on the post. So she wasn't able to advise me on where I specifically was wrong. And I already explained the part about negativity. Commenting on misleading information from MLM reps is interesting for me. It's informative and educational. It's not negative. When I'm speaking about assumptions or when I give my opinion on something, I will make it clear that this is my opinion. And when something is factual, I will also make it clear that something is factual. I'm not just spreading information and pulling this out of thin air or out of my booty. There is always a reasonable basis what I speak on, whether it is the law, whether it is compliance rules. I'm a compliance professional and I have been in the media industry for almost 20 years now. And I have specialized in the compliance field for almost 10 years now. So I do think that I do have somewhat of an understanding what I'm talking about because my mind is trained to work in those ways. I didn't specify that back then. That was my fourth video and I only spoke about this somewhat after on my channel, but I'm not sure if this would have made a difference anyway. Spreading misinformation is harmful. Yes, that is true. That is why I corrected the information that you and your upline, aka partner in crime, because you couldn't even say the word upline, why that is harmful. I'm not only doing myself a disservice, but as a grown woman, I'm very much able to look after myself. I appreciate it though. And then I'm also doing a disservice to others who stumble upon this. No, I'm actually doing a service to others because I'm correcting your false information. A company car? Are you sure? That was the first time in I think over a year that I heard an MLM rep lie so blatantly about the Monet Motor Club. You do not get a company car. I think to clarify that is not harmful. It's good. It's educational. It's informative. And I do think that I presented that in a rather funny way as well. So no, you spread the misinformation. And I would agree though that that is harmful kind of lures people into the MLM in Monate in the hopes that they will get a free car or a company. And then they sign up and they recognize, damn it, it's nothing like this. I have to pay for all of this. But let's get into that in a second. If you have questions, would like to discuss further, you know where to find me. Yeah, I mean, I found your Instagram and I screenshotted the content, so I do know where to find you. But I don't need to talk to you in advance, neither to get your support so that I can use the content. Since you posted that publicly, I can already do this. Nor do I need to contact you. You already put all of the information you want to put out there out, publicly available. So that doesn't make sense for me either. I won't be responding here further. You know where to reach me. How convenient to say I'm throwing some information you're spreading misinformation and negativity onto your platform, but I won't be responding anymore. That is also typical for reps in MLMs. They cannot have an actual public discussion. Everything needs to be hush-hush behind the curtains, behind the scene, because if other people were watching and they would be able to see all of the misinformation you spread and you are not able to present it in a way that you believe is favorable for your business, at least that's my opinion, then you are in trouble. I think this was a typical Monate opportunity call and this is a typical ML Emmer's reply. But I thought, Christina, don't be petty. Give this lady another chance. Maybe she misspoke. Maybe it was her upline who was spreading most of the misinformation. And although she was sitting on this call as well and she was smiling and she was also nodding her head, 
maybe she was a bit intimidated, and maybe she knows better, and she has a better representation of the Monet business model and of the business opportunity on her Instagram. And you know what? I found a work with me highlight tab. <laughs> I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you post something on your highlights, it's also a highlight for me and I will take a look at it. So let's take a look. Maybe she was just misunderstood. Maybe I can react to something where I can actually appreciate the positivity, the truthfulness and the truthful representation of Monet's business opportunity on her Instagram. This is the work with me highlight on her Instagram and we will go through that step by step and if I have commentary I will stop as we go along and I will let you know what I think about it. Let me know what you think about this as well in the comments if you're interested or just relax. Kick back and keep watching. Hi IG fam, I've been getting quite a few inquiries on what it is that I do so let me take a sec to break it down for you over the next few slides. What I do, I am partnered with an international brand. No, you're not. You're not partnered with Monet. <laughs> this is this fake Instagram and fake influencer life that specifically Monet reps like to spew. You're not partnered with a brand. You're not doing influencer marketing with the term I am partnered with a brand is typical. You're not an influencer. You're not doing affiliated marketing and you're not partnered with Monet. You're an independently contracted salesperson, a freelancer, that's all. And there's nothing wrong with being a freelancer or a salesperson for your company, but just say it. So she's not partnered with an international brand that focuses on clean products and healing from within. How do you help people with healing from within when you're in Monet, a company that is known for selling shampoos then ventured into skincare, also now has protein powders and stuff like that. I guess, yes, you ingest these, but you're selling shampoo. How is that healing from within? Awkward. This video will take forever. We're on slide two. I have been personally using and sharing these products for over three years, helping thousands increase their confidence through consistent use. Now, I don't doubt if you use certain products or if you do something for yourself, that you will be able to raise your confidence if you consistently use these. Maybe that's what she's aiming at, but healing from within when you sell a shampoo, that is weird. Much like most brand partnerships, when someone purchases from my personalized link, I receive a commission. This is just one of the many ways I am paid through this business. This is not a brand partnership. Like I said, you're not an influencer. Just because you get a personalized link to a website, that doesn't mean anything else than you are a salesperson for this company and you have your own personalized website so that the company knows when somebody purchases where the commissions go to. And what she refers to here is selling. There is a way to make money in Monet. You get commission of, of regular customers, VIP customers, and you get a small commission of, of the overpriced product that you sell. That is one of the ways you can make money in Monet. The second way I am paid is on my passion. Oh, Lord, this is worse than the opportunity call I reacted to. I should have done this first. Okay. The second way I'm paid is on my passion. My passion for changing lives and helping people. <coughs> oh, please help. Monet rep made me choke. <coughs> okay, the second way you get paid is not on your passion. It is paid on recruitment. So when MLM reps say that they're getting paid for changing lives and helping people, that means that they're able to recruit people and make money off of the people in their downline, AKA the team that they build. That is not passion. I mean, maybe she's passionate for that. This, nothing would surprise me anymore, but passion is very, very misleading once again. Also changing lives, you're not changing people's lives for the better and you're not necessarily helping people, neither through the products, it's just regular products, nor through the business opportunity. Most people in Monate are the first and the second rank, over 97 or 98% of people, I believe. And that is not you changing lives for the positive. Would not be my passion, but maybe I'm misunderstanding that. And I don't want to spread negativity, so let's continue. So you're recruiting people. What makes our brand special is that they allow you to build a team. And when your team does well, you do well. 
our business model is set up where there is room for anyone and everyone at the top of the company. We are never stuck under anyone. There is no income ceiling based off of the timing of you coming into the business. And it is in our benefit to work and elevate together. What she's referring to here once again is recruitment. And yeah, there is room for anyone and everyone in a recruitment based business because that's how you make most of the money via recruitment and participating in the sales and in the purchases and in the recruitment of your team as well. That way you're able to make way more money than just you selling a product here or there. But I would strongly disagree that there is room for everyone at the top. That is not a possibility. And I might be in danger now of spreading negativity again, but I would like that to be factual and I would like that to be fact-based then as well. It is mathematically impossible and that is considered basic statistics and exponential math. In an MLM, only very few people are able to make it to the top. Only very few people are able to recruit a team big enough to support their life and their lifestyle. And even fewer of these people are able to stay there. It is mathematically and statistically impossible for everyone who joins the MLM to rise to the top because you always need a team of people to make the most money. And who is paying into the system? The people at the bottom. If there were only leaders, nobody would pay into the system. But maybe Monet is different. And like I said, I don't want negativity to stand in my way. So let's take a look at the sales compensation plan from Monet. Let's take a look what they say you have to do to make money and then take a look at the income disclosure statement to see who is actually doing that. This is the US compensation plan from Monet at a glance. And you can see very quickly that you're only able to make money just off of selling in Monet when you're at the first rank, the market partner rank. There you have a 200 PV volume requirement. That means you purchasing a certain amount of products worth 200 PV or you selling products worth 200 PV. Personal volume point is about an equivalent to a dollar. So let's go with that. You can also do a mixture of both. You can purchase your own products or you can sell the products. But that is the only rank where you're able to make money just by selling a product. If we look at the second rank, the managing market partner rank, your personal volume goes up to 300 and you have to have two active lines. Two active lines, meaning two people you yourself recruited, and you have to have a GV, a group volume of $1,200. So from the second rank on, you have to have active lines, aka people you yourself personally recruited. And as you rise in the ranks, you also have certain structure requirements. If you hit the market builder rank, the amount of people that you have recruited, that in itself is not enough. If they're able to hit the group volume, that would be sufficient. But you also have to have at least one person that is at the MMP, at the managing market partner rank. It goes on and go goes on and goes on. And when you're at the director ranks, let's take a look at the last rank, the SED, the senior executive director rank. You have a personal volume requirement of 500. You have to have eight active lines, aka eight people you yourself personally recruited. They have to hit a group volume of 7,000 GV. And then you have the structure requirement that out of those eight people you recruited, six have to be at the MMB rank, that is the managing market builder rank. And in addition to that, you have to have two people who have hit the AED rank, the associate executive director rank. And then you have to fulfill a downline quota of eight hundred thousand dollars and you must have one gen mmb in the last 12 months so within the last year you yourself must have recruited a person that is at the mmb rank those are the requirements then you have some bonuses some retail bonuses personal sales bonuses vip acquisitions bonuses and those are bonuses you can earn if you're able to sell a certain amount of product. Retail pro bonus means earn 30% on sales from retail customers and 50% on sales from VIP customers. That's just the regular commission you get. Personal sales bonus is if you're able to sell from 1000 to 1900 PV, you can earn 3%. 
and then you can earn 5% and then you can earn 10% if you hit a certain PV requirement. And then you have a VIP acquisitions bonus. If you enroll four new VIP customers in a calendar month, you can earn a $60 bonus. And then all of the other bonuses are recruitment based, building a team, uh, helping people, the uni level bonus, the group volume bonus, the rank advancement bonus, rank advancement matching bonus, and the motor club bonus and the generation bonus. They all require you to have a team of people. Those are not requirements or bonuses you can fulfill just by selling a lot of products. But let's take a look at the compensation plan and let's see how many people are actually able to find their seat at the table at the top ranks. Let's take a look at the highest ranks, the SED, the ED and the AED rank. Those are the director ranks. And a whopping 0.04% of people in Monate in 2021 in the United States were able to hit those ranks where you make a lot of money. But maybe the lower ranks are better. The managing market mentor rank, 0.06% of people were able to hit that rank. The associate market mentor, 0.32% were able to hit that rank. Managing market builder, 0.79%. Market builder 0.44%. And then the majority of people are at the bottom three ranks. So maybe you should tell the people at the lower ranks that as well, that there's seat at the table for them at the top and that they don't have to stay there because the market partner, the first rank, has 93.36% and has a median annual gross earnings of 21%. And I would argue that the people who are at that rank, they would like to know that they can also rank up and make more than 21 bucks in a year. I think they would appreciate that. Then managing market partner, they're 3.26% of the people in the company and they make $1,686. And then you have associate market builder and they are 1.52% of the people. They make $3,739 median annual gross earnings. That is before taxes and that is before expenses. So if there is a space for everyone at the top of Monet, maybe you should tell these people that because I'm sure that they would like to earn more money and I'm sure that they also put in a lot of work. Yeah, maybe shoot them a message. I think they would appreciate that. But let's continue with the slides. So that slide is also very confusing to me. The only thing that I would agree with is that if you come into the business, it is in our benefit and in your benefit to work and elevate together. As I showed you, if you want to hit certain ranks, you not only have to have a certain amount of people under you, but the people under you also need to hit certain ranks for you to rank up or to keep a rank. Humble beginnings. When I joined this company three years ago, I had no idea the income opportunity. My focus was on meeting new people in the area and being a part of something. I was longing to meet people like me. I wanted a way to monetize my social media and to meet people who were ambitious and eager to chase after their goals. Meeting people, I think, is a wonderful thing making friendships, being a part of a community, meeting new people in this area means you pay your way into a system and then you have to perform in a certain way and the people around you have to perform in a certain way. Otherwise, you will not be in a lot of contact with these people. And if you leave an MLM, it is very likely that you will not see these people ever again. That is just the sad reality of it. So if you're looking for a community and for people around you, I would suggest go and do that and don't join an MLM where you have to pay your way into doing so. Because the connections in MLMs, they're transactional. I depend on you, you depend on me, and in the end, we're all screwed. I mean, that might be a little bit negative, but it's true for the majority of people in MLMs. I wanted a way to monetize my social media. You do not monetize your social media when you are in an MLM. You're not an influencer and you're not getting paid to post on your social media. It is a necessary tool to reach out to people and you're able to reach out to a lot of people. Some people are able to do that in person, but I would argue that for the majority of people, social media is probably the easiest way to do so. But that doesn't mean that you get paid for that. Monate doesn't pay you for any of your posts, for any of your slides, for any of your lives. Monate, I walked you through the sales compensation plan 
only pays you if you're able to sell a product, then you'll get a certain small commission, depending on the kind of customer you have, whether it is an actual retail customer or a VIP customer, AKA a recurring customer. Certain conditions are connected to that VIP program as well, which in my opinion makes it even harder to sell, or via recruitment. All of the other bonuses are recruitment-based, where you can profit of people in your team. You're not monetizing your social media. Earlier that year, I had moved to Boston, Massachusetts, so being a part of something and meeting new people was extremely exciting to me. Enticing to me. <laughs> it's written so small and I don't want to wear my glasses, just saying. Once again, same story though. If you want to meet people, go meet people. Nobody wants to be alone. But if you have to pay to be a part of a community, consider that there is something wrong with that. The only problem, I didn't know squat about network marketing or the beauty industry. And speaking in front of a camera on social media, that was a hard no for me. Yeah, but you did it anyway, so maybe it wasn't that hard of a no for you. A lot of people join multi-level marketing companies because they're being recruited because of information like this. I don't know anything about this. I'm not comfortable in front of a camera. I'm not a salesy person. I'm not an influencer. Oh, don't you worry. We can teach you everything. But I would argue if you're not good at approaching people, if you're not comfortable posting on social media, maybe this is not for you. And you understanding what you're getting yourself into when you join an MLM is essential. It is crucial because then people like this who post this on their social media, they don't have it that easy to recruit you under false pretense, spreading false information, although all of that is wrapped up in positivity, beautiful words, and beautiful posts. That means that people don't have a lot of power over you because you are more knowledgeable. So I would argue always get information, educate yourself, and learn about that. Listen to different people. Listen to people who are in MLMs, who were in MLMs, but also take a look at people who are critical and then make your own decision based on that. I think that is quite of advantage. Not only did the company offer incredible training, but the team I joined did as well on everything I needed to know and more. Branding, social media growth, public speaking, breaking habits and comfort zones, attraction marketing, product knowledge, company history, and more. I beg to differ on this. And once again, there is a certain risk that I'm spreading negativity, but if people in multi-level marketing companies were truly educated about what they were trying to do, what they're trying to sell, who they're trying to recruit, I would argue they wouldn't have joined MLMs in the first place. And then we wouldn't have posts like this, or we wouldn't have opportunity calls that set this entire video into motion. In that case, you would realize that you're in a really, really sketchy business and you probably wouldn't join. There are so many interesting, funny, and cringy videos out there. You can just type team calls, opportunity calls into YouTube, and you will find a lot of team calls from other creators. And they're really funny, they're eye-opening, and they're interesting because what they consider training is just a bunch of inspirational boo-boo. Now, I do not doubt that there are also some reps out there who are probably good at social media and who have actual practical tips. But for most part, it is just a way to teach you how to stay motivated, how to try to build a team, how to try to motivate those people to join you and to stay, and how you should brainwash yourself so that you can stay in the company for longer. That is something that those team calls have shown me. So why don't you go ahead after the video and Google some of the team calls. Find that very, very interesting after the video, please. I would argue that the trainings, they're not that factual. So ooh, hard pass for me. And when we're talking about the product knowledge, I also beg to differ. This individual on the opportunity call said that she used Monate and Monate products actually helped her to help her with her bald spot right here. Now that is a personal testimony from her that could very well be true, but that is very ill-fitting because Monate is known for having caused people to lose hair and to have scalp sores. 
Somanate product has definitely damaged people's head and hair. And I would argue if the reps were educated at that, they wouldn't have given those customers and those other reps the tip to continue to use the products because their scalp is detoxing. It is normal. Their products are very potent, so it might burn a little bit here or there. That really is just your scalp detoxing. I think that Monade reps have probably made the situation worse because they were not able to give competent professional feedback. You don't have to be a hair professional to join Monate. Ultimately, it is Monate's fault. They're the ones who produced, who created the products, but the representatives that are uneducated have probably contributed to the lawsuits as well. If you were a professional, you would have asked your clients to stop using the products. But in Monate, apparently they could never. Maybe product knowledge and product education would be advisable here. I don't think that the reps really get those. Featured in, to name a few, I quickly realized I had hit a gold mine to make a huge impact while growing an additional stream of income. Those are mentionings of Monate uh, where they either purchase their way into doing so, you can pay to be in part of the editorial, and many, many times money disappeared out of those featured in rather quickly. Also, that doesn't mean a lot. You can be the sketchiest company, you can have the sketchiest business opportunity, and you can still be featured in those magazines or on those websites. Within 10 months, I was over halfway through the promotions and qualified to have my very own Cadillac paid for on the company's dime. That is false yet again. It is not as horrible as what her upline, her partner in crime said on the opportunity call where you get a company car, but you have to qualify to be able to participate in the Monate Motor Club program. By the way, a Monate Motor Club program deep dive is coming because there is still so much misinformation out there that I would like to dedicate an entire video to this. So wait for that. Let me walk you through this again in the sales plan because it is also mentioned there. You have to hit the market mentor rank. That is the seventh rank from the bottom. It is somewhere in the middle of the compensation. And then you are eligible to participate in the Monate Motor Club. If you're able to remain at that level for three months, then you're qualified. In that case, you can purchase a Cadillac, you can lease it or you can buy it, and you might or might not receive money from Monate. You're eligible to receive $1,500 as a bonus payment towards the down payment of the car. And then depending on the rank you have hit, you either receive $500, which is true if you hit the MM rank, the market mentor rank, or $750 or $1,000. But you will only receive those payments if you remain at that rank. If you lose that rank, you're screwed. You have two grace months uh, within a year, but those are not consecutive months. So if you slip more than twice, or if you slip two months in a row, you're stuck with a payment yourself. The car is in your name, so you are the one who is paying for this. If $500 is sufficient for your lease, for your gas, for your insurance, for the upkeep, then you're good to go. If $750 does it for you, then you're good to go. If $1,000 does it for you, then you're good to go. But if that doesn't cover the cost of the car, then you have to pay for the rest. And if you don't hit your ranks, you have to pay for it anyway. So no, the Cadillac is not quote unquote paid for on the company's dimes. By the following summer, I had seven girls on my team qualified for their Cadillac as well. Remember what I said, we all rise together. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't be able to hit a director rank if you don't have certain people hitting those ranks as well. But she started years ago. How likely is it that you will be able to rise in the ranks, to participate in the Cadillac program, to become a director in Monate now in this day and age, and to have enough people on your team do that as well? I think the chances are getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer as we speak. Fast forward to today, I have mentored thousands to success in monetizing their social media. You don't monetize your social media if you join Monate. And impacting, increasing the confidence in others through our products and opportunity. I don't think that she has mentored thousands of people <laughs> to success. She's probably recruited thousands of people over her time in Monate. That doesn't mean that those people are all successful. I've shown you the income disclosure statement and the sales plan. 
There is only very, very few space at the tippity top of a pyramid, but a lot of space at the bottom. That's how the MLM business is designed. So I would argue she probably tried to, or was successfully able to recruit thousands of people together with her team, but that doesn't mean that she was able to lead them to success. Not to monetize their social media, you're not an influencer when you join an MLM, and you probably did impact a lot of lives, but not necessarily for the better. Because exponential math and basic statistics prove that not everyone can be successful and can be at the top ranks in an MLM with no fault of their own. The system is designed to work against them. So like I said, it's hard to believe. She probably was able to recruit a lot of people, but that doesn't mean that she mentored people to success. In my subjective opinion, which is based on a lot of facts, but just to be sure that I don't spread misinformation or negativity, just say that. I will link everything down below, by the way, all of the Monet documents I'm talking about, so that you can take a look at the negativity yourself. Since I have joined in 2018, yeah, she joined early. That's why she was able to rise in the ranks and to build a team who were also able to have the Motor Club program, in my opinion. Since I have joined in 2018, I have qualified for many trips with a company such as Dominican Republic, Cancun, Cayman Islands, Vegas to Miami, amongst others. You have to earn those trips. You have to hit a certain rank within a certain amount of time. You have to sell a certain amount of product. You have to have a certain amount of people under you. And the amount of people that go on those trips, it's also not the vast majority of the company. So it doesn't look like it is that easy. Those trips, by the way, they're also not free. You have to pay certain things on those trips yourself. But even if you're in the lucky situation that Monet does pay for everything on your trips, you still have to pay taxes on the value of those trips. But it's not about the car. <laughs> of course not. The income, the trips. It's about the impact we make. Oh my God. But you started this entire thing with trips and money and cars. So if that wasn't that important, then that could have been a side note at the end of the slides and you could have started with the inspirational impact that you make. That is a bunch of boo-woo. Why do people join an MLM? Because they want to make money, because they have the hopes that they're buying into a business opportunity that will reward them with hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars. But once again, that is just my opinion. The way our company is always searching for new ways to express gratitude and give back. It's about finding my voice and my own confidence and helping so many others to be able to do just the same. This opportunity is beyond special when you allow the growth and take place and when you show up yourself. And I will be forever grateful that it came my way. Just imagine you're looking for a job and this is in the job description. <laughs> Please run the other way around. Don't look, just run. Go, run, no, keep going further. Yep, further. Close the door from the outside, please. Yeah, could you lock it from the outside? Okay, thanks. Weird, huh? Yeah, if somebody would actually post that in a regular job description, if you join Monet, you join a sales job, independently contracted. That is so weird. You will make a lot of impact. No, you're there to make money and that's okay, but don't be sketchy about it and not in an MLM business. Be honest and be truthful because if you have nothing to hide, you don't need this entire facade. Getting started, for you getting started and joining this movement is simple. All you have to do is fill out the form below, purchase your products so you can share your results and start talking about them. Your products come in a package with samples, marketing materials, your personalized website and all of our training resources and you would receive my one, what? My 1001 personal mentorship. Now I need to, my glasses, that makes me mad. Positivity, positivity. I cannot tell what this is supposed to be. You would receive my Yoni 1001. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> you receive her personal mentorship <laughs> where I will give you everything I know and have done 
to reach success. Your packages range from $199 to $549. Once you purchase your business package, you will begin training and work towards leaving your impact and mark making your first paycheck. Lots of people don't even make their first paycheck. The majority of people in Moneta are at the bottom rank and make 20 something dollars in a year. If that's your paycheck, then congratulations. You could have done a job with a minimum wage for two hours and you would be better off. In addition to that, she's also leaving out, as all Monet reps do in my opinion, at least I haven't seen anyone, actually promote the $99 one because Monet, for legal reasons, now also has to offer a $99 starter kit, which is just a bunch of papers and a bunch of sample sizes. So the first real product pack in Monet, that is the $199 one. It doesn't make a lot of sense, I believe, if you want to join to get the one without the products. I mean, I wouldn't advise to join in any way, shape or form, but that's besides the point. They offer the $99 one and the Monet reps who recruit you, they don't receive any commission. I believe that is why they never speak about that. So <laughs> sketchy. But yeah, it is rather easy to sign up. If you live in a country where Monet operates, you're 18 years or older, and you're able to afford the starter pack, then you can purchase your way into the company. There is no guarantee for success. There is no guarantee that you will even make the starter money back. But there is a guarantee that people will try to pressure you and talk you into purchasing further products. Because that is how they make money, and that is how Monet, as the company, makes money. That is how the system is set up. It's not set up in your favor, it is set up in their favor. Corporate side's favor because they make money off of every purchase that is happening and it's in the favor of the very few people who are at the tippity top of the compensation plan. If you want to know more about my story, click here. If you want to go even more in depth, click here. If you want to meet my mentor and hear her perspective on this business, click here. Skip one minute. That is the opportunity call I reacted to. If you're ready and start making an income now, click here. I would say if you want to make an income, click away and get an actual job because Monet will very likely not do this. So empowering, so uplifting community of boss babes that have found each other. How to make $1,460 to $4,000 in your first month. The Smart Start she's talking about, yes. Smart Start is a program for people who just recently joined within your first two or three months. And it's typical that MLMs have those programs. If you newly join and you see a certain return on your investment, if you see that money is coming back, it is very likely that you will stay longer in the company and you receive certain bonuses if you're able to do certain tasks because that way companies believe that you will stay in the company longer, that you will believe you will be able to make more money in the long run, which is not the case because you starting and being able to recruit a good amount of people at the start family, friends, you're excited to do this, doesn't mean that you will be able to continue as you go along. And the company is supporting that by giving you certain special bonuses that you will not get down the line. That was interesting for sure. I thought that maybe she had more information or more accurate information to spread on her work with me tab, but it looks like it was just as bad as the opportunity calling. And I hope I wasn't too negative. I hope I was also able to spread a lot of positivity. Let me finish this maybe with some positive words. I'm cheering for you. I'm rooting for you, whether you are in an MLM or not. But I find it more positive if you don't join an MLM for yourself and for others. All of the information I have spread here is either my opinion or based on facts from Monet's website themselves. So if you want to look these things up, you can take a look at that down below. So to conclude this video, I would argue don't join an MLM, don't join Monate, then you don't have to present yourself in such a way on social media and the comments on other people's videos that they're spreading negativity and lies when you can prove <laughs> that there were no lies spread from my side. I gave my commentary on things and I showed you facts. And I was able to prove that the information that these two women shared in their opportunity call were false. And that a lot of the stuff she is still to this very day having up and posting on her social media is misleading. Now, please do not contact this person. It's not what I'm doing these videos for. But I think that she is a really good example of what to expect when you do content that is critical of multi-level marketing companies. And when I'm using people like her 
as an example. Please don't get fooled just because somebody is smiling at you and is saying that they're spreading light and positivity and empowering people. If they're spreading false information to lure you into a predatory business model where you will very, very likely lose money, then it is not positive. So do your own research if somebody reaches out to you and if something sounds too good to be true, then it might be. I hope that you did like this video and if you did, please leave me a comment maybe a thumbs up. And if you like this, then hopefully I will see you in my next video really soon. Cheers!